Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16.4 and everything that you need to know regarding this update before you go ahead and update to iOS 16.4. Now 16.4 is currently on its RC version and it should be released to the public very, very soon. Actually, we're expecting iOS 16.4 to be released next week, probably the beginning of the next week, either Monday or Tuesday, so either March 27th or 28th, these are the two dates that we're expecting iOS 16.4 to get released to the public. So in this video, I will show you guys everything you need to know regarding this update before you go ahead and update on Monday or Tuesday. Now, first of all, when you want to update, of course, you want to make sure that you have enough space on your device for the update to be downloaded and installed. Now, as you can see right here, the RC version came at around 5.5 gigs here on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It will probably come at a smaller size if you're on iOS 16.3 or 16.3.1. It will probably come at around one to two gigs because it's quite a big update with a lot of new features and changes and that's what you should expect on your device. So if you wanna update and install iOS 16.4 right away on your device, make sure that you have at least around two and a half to three gigs of free space or even more to make sure that you can download and install this update immediately after it gets released by Apple. And when it comes to updating to iOS 16.4, that will be pretty simple as usual. All you have to do is head on to your settings, general, software update, and here you will get the update for iOS 16.4 on Monday or Tuesday. If you don't want to do that manually, you can always turn on the automatic updates and it will be installed during the night on your device automatically. You will have also here the enable button for security responses and system files. Make sure you have that enabled as well. Now, if you have one of the betas installed and if you don't want to update to the RC version, all you have to do is go to beta updates and make sure you have it turned off right here. But if you have already updated to the RC version, you won't get an update for iOS 16.4 because you already have the version that will be released to the public. And if you want to update to iOS 16.4 and no longer get betas on your device, make sure that you have them turned off here. And now that we know when to expect this update to be released and of course how to install it and how much space we need to install it, let's talk a bit about battery, which is really important. The battery life on iOS 16.4 has been pretty much the same as iOS 16.3 in my experience. I have been using this software since beta one on my device and I didn't, didn't like experience any big changes on battery life moving from iOS 16.3 or 16.3.1 to iOS 16.4. So if you have iOS 16.3 or 16.3.1, expect to have pretty much the same battery life on iOS 16.4 as well. You can see the performance right here. So you can see right here we have at about 100%, probably like 95% battery life. And we got eight hours and 28 minutes on screen time here with the iPhone 14 Pro Max with the battery health at around 99%. So the battery life will be okay, nothing that great, but won't be anything worse than iOS 16.3. And now let's move on to performance. So performance is quite good. So in daily use of iOS 16.4, I've been very satisfied. No like major, gl major glitches or hangs or like random resprings or reboots or freezes of the device. It has been quite okay. And this is also the Geekbench score here with a new Geekbench 6. So we have the single core score at 2000. 528 while we have the multi-core score at 6389 which is actually quite a decent score and of course this just goes to show that the performance on ios 16.4 is actually quite good now that we're done with like the technical part of ios 16.4 here are some of the best new features that you can expect with this update. This one right here is a picture of the new emojis that you will get on iOS 16.4. So we have some animals here, some logos, some like stop hands right there, some new hearts with new colors and a new emoji right there shaking the head. Some pretty cool new emojis coming to your keyboard with iOS 16.4. Probably one of the biggest features of iOS 16.4 is push notification for web apps. So web apps are apps you have added to your home screen, basically websites like this. I can add this to the home screen and now a lot of these will be web apps and they will support 
push notifications and they also show badges right here and if you have a web app on your home screen you can actually head on to your settings and go to notifications and you will find the name of that app right here and you can turn on notifications for that web app which is pretty cool now another thing that apple has done with ios 16.4 which is also a great new feature is the ability to add to home screen via third party apps. So just like you saw that I added the Apple website here from Safari, I would now be able to do that from Chrome as well. But of course we will have to wait for the apps to be updated to do that. So Chrome has to actually update the app in order for us to do that. But before you couldn't add bookmarks to your home screen, using third party apps. Now you can do that from Safari and any other third party browser that you might be using on your device. Another great thing that Apple has done with these bookmarks, you can see if I open this, it will open on Safari because that's my default browser. But what Apple has done, they have fixed this like very bad issue. So if I use another app like Chrome, for example, I can go ahead and set Chrome as my default browser. And now when I tap to open this, it will actually open it in Chrome. Before, it would just open it always in Safari, even though I would have another app as a default browser on my device. Now, it will open on the default browser that I have selected. And this right here is a great new feature. You can now use voice isolation for phone calls and FaceTime calls. This is amazing, a really great feature. Now this is the default right here. It's standard. Now you will have voice isolation. As you probably know, Apple had actually talked about this feature and it's finally here. So the way to actually activate it when you're on a phone call or a FaceTime call, you come to your control center, tap on the mic mode right there and choose voice isolation and that how you enable this new feature of iOS 16.4. Another big change with iOS 16.4, you probably have heard about this, is that from now on you won't be able to install betas on your device using the profiles that you could download to your device. Starting with iOS 16.4, the only way to install a dev beta will be if you have a dev account. Now all you have to do is go to software update and you will have here beta updates. If you have the account registered as a dev, you will see the developer beta right there. If you're not, if not, you will see only the off button and the public beta. Now you can use here your ID that you have to sign in on your iPhone, or you can use another ID that of course you might have just for the devs thing. And of course, just add it here without having to change completely the Apple ID on your iPhone. With iOS 16.4, Apple has added also new home screen widgets, and these are order tracking widgets for the wallet app. So if you use the wallet app and you have orders there, you can have the smaller, medium, or the bigger widget on the home screen from where you can track your orders. Another pretty cool thing that Apple has done with iOS 16.4, the ability to go under coverage and see all of your devices in one place. So not just the, the current device, all the devices you have paired to your Apple ID, you can actually see them here. So you will see the coverage for all of your devices in one place. A new feature for iPhone 14 Pro users, when you go to the focus modes, you will now have, of course, filters for your focus modes and Apple has added something new here. So if you want to add a filter under system filters, you can now also add the always on display filter. So you can choose whether you want to enable or disable the always on display when you have that filter active on your device and you can add that filter again from here. And this right here, smaller one, but iPhone users are loving this. Apple has added back here this page animation. When you move from page to page on I iOS, the new, the actual iBooks app, of course, on iOS 16.4. So if you go here and you go to, to the settings from here, you will be able to actually change that by using this button. So you will have curl, none, or slide. So if you just love this old school like animation, you can actually now enable it with iOS 16.4. So this is everything you need to know regarding iOS 16.4. Another thing that you need to know, in my opinion, this will be the last big update to iOS 16. I know we're getting iOS 16.5 pretty soon, probably a few days after iOS 16.4 gets released to the public, that will go on first beta, but most likely it will be very small with very few new features and changes. 
this is most likely the last big update with a lot of features and changes to iOS 16 before we move on to the first beta of iOS 17. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.